boxes. Yeah. Well, with that, I think it's time for a bourbon break. So uh, today uh, we have a really fun bourbon. We have George Dickel bourbon. It is a uh, aged eight years. So this is, I believe it's a Kentucky bourbon. Let me check. Uh, no, it's no, not. It's Tennessee. Tennessee. No, you're absolutely right. It's Tullahoma, Tennessee. Did I say that right, Paul? Tullahoma? Yeah. Tullahoma. Okay. Tullahoma. So uh, this is a Tennessee bourbon, uh, pretty well-known name, uh, Dickel. And uh, I saw this. Uh, what really drew my attention to it is it's an eight-year bourbon. Uh, and I got it for about $25. And that's, that's pretty rare, right? Like you think of the bourbons you can get that are aged eight years. Uh, you think of like Evan Williams single barrel. That's like an eight year bourbon. That's, that's about $25, $30. Uh, so this, this looked pretty interesting. Um, uh, Divya, what do you know about this bourbon? Okay, so for this bourbon, um, it is from Tennessee. And let's go to the website over here real quick. Uh, Overview says it's a handcrafted small batch bourbon that's been aged eight years and blended to perfection. The liquid boasts sweet initial notes of vanilla leading into, a, into bright hints of cherry and orange before being balanced by almond toffee and oak. It's 90 proof and uh, they say that bourbon enthusiasts can best enjoy Dickel bourbon neat or on the rocks. Um, when you go to Total Wine, it says that the Tennessee chill charcoal filtered bourbon from the Cascade Hollow Distillery, handcrafted small batch bourbon that's been aged gracefully in charred oak barrels, same eight years blended to perfection. Uh, it's going for $30 right now. So she, I don't know what that equals to uh, your total wine area, but uh, yeah, those are the notes. So I, I got it for 25. I don't know if it was on sale or something, but oh. it, it was a, uh... Maybe in the Texas area, it was uh, 25, you know. Yeah, I think on the nose, you get a little vanilla. Um, what I really like about this bourbon is uh, I got this bourbon along with another. The other was, was more expensive. This bourbon has a complexity that uh, is really interesting. Like, you know, you're drinking something that's uh that has uh, a flavor to it. it it's distinct it's not generic and so you know you get a little uh vanilla on the nose but you get all these other like smells as well all these other notes like like nut uh there's this sweetness to it there's maybe a little bit of oakiness to it um it's it's not the smoothest it's smooth enough um, but it's it's rough enough that that you still know you're drinking a bourbon straight, and there's just uh, a number of flavors that that come out. So like, you know, it's complex. Uh, it's got uh, oakiness to it. It's got like honey sweetness, vanilla, like nutty, almost like a pecan to it. There's just a lot going on. Um, and for $25, that's, that's really hard to get, right? Like uh, for $25, you could very easily like use this in like a highball or in a cocktail. You could drink it straight. Um, you know, it's not the smoothest uh, like sipping bourbon, um, but I think that this has a lot of uh, versatility that I'm definitely gonna buy it again, especially if I, I can find out that $25 price. Um, I think this would be a pretty good mainstay. Like if, if you wanted um, something to add to your, uh, to your liquor cabinet, especially if you're making cocktails, I think any cocktail or, or you can put like an eight year old liquor in it, uh, it's just going to make it better. Um, and so I, I really recommend this one. This was a new one for me. I knew the brand, but I had never experienced it. I think the, the eight year is a great uh, entry point for, for Dickel. It kind of smells like the cider too. I don't know if you smell that, but like that cider that we have in the fridge. It's got, yeah, it's got a little. Yeah, it does. <laughs> it totally does. 
<laughs> it, it's got i don't know what that note is it's like there's a little bit of vanilla and then there's a little bit of like uh it's like orange right yeah maybe like a a peel to mm -hmm. it like a fruit peel to it um no it, it's definitely complex like yeah. it's it's not it's not just straight uniflavor um there's a lot going on in it so i i recommend it yeah any eight-year-old bourbon under thirty dollars you've got my attention yeah. I've not tried that one, but I'm not. And, and it's like it it started in 1870. And I don't know how much of that is marketing, but like yeah. it it doesn't look like there's these new bourbons that just look pretty, but they don't deliver. Right. And this one is just like, hey, yeah. we've got a gold label because gold's nice. Mm -hmm. And uh, and we're gonna let you know like that it's our finest quality bourbon in like old English font. It's yeah. it's like, it's not trying to be trendy. Like I'm sure this has been their, their advertisement since the 1870s. Yeah. So. Look, if you want a better label on the paper, it would have cost like 2850 and. <laughs> yeah, it's also, I mean, it is uh, bottled and bond. Oh, bottled and bond. Not I, all wait, bottled and great, but that. it's a good yeah. start. I don't think it is. I didn't say it on the. Oh, is it not no, no. Uh, All right. I I have a hard time believing that they don't uh, source their own product. Even if it's sourced, eight years is a long time. I'm impressed by the eight years. Yeah. It says, uh, yeah. Eight years. It says it's eight years and blended to 